Welcome to Party and Chat, your weekly recap of our Baldur's Gate free playthrough. Watch us live at twitch.tv slash neuron. Well, there we go. End of session 11. Mm -hmm. hey. 11. We did, we did what we set out to do. We we ended, uh, ended Keferic Thorn and we mm -hmm. started our road to Baldur's Gate. And we are very quickly interrupted. Man, the fight, the fight against like last time, we were kind of disappointed with the fight with the general, and uh, that was very cool in the end. I can see he came out all high and mighty, saying like, "Oh, thank you, thank you for bringing the artifact to me. How nice of you!" You could have run away, absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? And then we kicked his ass. After he turned into an avatar of Mirkul, one of the three gods of death, uh, the god of necromancy. That's great. Turned out that this whole thing is linked to Baal, Mirkul, and uh, Bane? Is that right? Is that the name of the third one? Already forgot. I'm sorry, just Baal is so famous that, like, compared to the others. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I can't remember. The Edict. Of Bane. The Lash of Thor. Okay. There we go, finally. Oh, did this cinematic not load for you? It was just, uh, it's a bit freezy. Oh my god. Hello? Ginormous rain. A zombie's wet dream. The testament of Merkel. Oh, it's a Sorry, I was a bit confused then. <laughs> I mean, I mean, my intelligence is low anyway, so I don't know yeah, why. I'm, it's okay, I'm, what I'm are you thinking? Peanut we, we, we know your story is not great, but yeah, no, we had this epic boss fight, which uh, yeah. the alien went a bit, uh, a bit crazy at the end. <laughs> I think there was a lot of pent-up rage that suddenly exploded. <laughs> oh my god, oh. she's angry. Oh, oh she's oh, really oh. angry. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't look like... Maybe. She's genuinely shocked. Excuse me? Look at this queen. But hey, all is good in the end. She got reunited with her girlfriend. Let's go. Love to see it. Love to see it. Jaira has joined the camp. Now that yeah. she knows that the Baal and the others are involved, she actually agreed to travel with us to Baldur's Gate. But Halcyon decided to stay behind and try to stop the yeah. Shadow Curse. So sad. You should be elated. The sight of the land you leave behind does nothing to alleviate your sorrow. Oh. Though however deep your pain, it cannot compare to Halsin's. Sorry! We failed you, my friend. He'll figure it out. He's a smart druid. Yeah. Yeah, we never figure out how to work on the curse, I guess. We just didn't find the right clues, maybe. I don't know. But hey. It happens. We lost a druid and we gained another one. All in all, everything is still in balance. <laughs> we don't know where all the chiefings are gone, which worries me a little bit. Because Zevla was like, I'm going to free my people. And then we exited the tower and they are nowhere to be seen. So, and there is an army on their way to Belgium's gate. So hopefully they're not in danger right now. I think those people have been in danger enough. I think that they drove some upgrades. So I hope they're okay. We still haven't found Maul. Maul is nowhere. I don't know where Maul is gone. No. The damn chiefling no child. Yeah, we found her eye patch. We found her eye patch and they seem to think that uh, she's probably fine and already in Belgium's gate. So except that they are right. Am I forgetting anything that what happened today? Big bus fight. No. Road to Belgium's gate. So. And then the big reveal, so just as we were on our way to Baldur's Gate, finally a night away from reaching the city, a big portal opening, suddenly we are in the astral plane inside the artifact. All you need to do now is sleep. But sleep is not for you. Uh oh. March. 
Uh oh. Here we go again. Damn it, Morphos. Why didn't you warn us? I was asleep. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> and the big reveal. The Dream Guardian is actually a Mind Flayer. He used yep. to be a human, but now he's a Mind Flayer. He's been playing us, all of us, all along, helping on his plan to... Well, actually, it's not really a, a Neville plan in any way. That's why I kind of agreed to help him. Because at the end of the day, she wants to save the Sword Coast. I'm not entirely sure I agree with everything. At the end of the day, he's still a Mind Flayer. I'm quite sure we can't fully trust them, ever. But it seemed like they were pretty good their previous life before they got captured they were working with Baldur's Gate and the what was it the shield I forgot the name of it the order of the shield or something like that like a merchant's guild and apparently they were helping everybody so maybe not a bad guy but still very weird vibes <laughs> very weird vibes and also that the Prince Office is currently the person that was locked up in the artifact all along the, the true heir of the Githyanki. And that explains why Black Gif, the, the Lich Queen of the Githyanki, was uh, very eager for us to go inside the artifact and kill whoever was inside. Because that would mean Civil War against the Githyanki and she would lose all her power. So yeah, that explains a lot of things about why she was so eager to send a bunch of Githyankis after us. But also, Orpheus not so much of a good guy, because since we have that pulse, he already wants to kill us anyway, so there is no point in helping him, I guess, sadly. You know, the whole thing, like, the enemies of my enemy, my ally and everything, I was like, oh, maybe your face, you know, can tell him, like, you have Black Eve is after us, and uh, we can find a compromise or something, but uh, no, I don't think that's going to be a fake. No, I don't think so either. Oh, well. And we killed all these guards, too. I guess he's not going to be too happy about that either. He's a super monk squad of death that yeah. launch fireballs with key. Ooh, absorb elements. Oh. <laughs> that really hurts. Yeah, that's a, as a wizard, let me tell you, I'm impressed. <laughs> Today, with magical power, it takes me to fire a fireball, doing it with just like your, your key. Pretty impressive. Yeah, no match for my swords, though. Oh, yeah, we just, we just ruined those guys. <laughs> Easy. Level 9 now. Yeah. Starting to get uh, on those higher levels for sure. Mm. Yeah. But hey, our enemies are also getting stronger. And the Apple actually told us that we don't have enough allies right now to stop them. And we are going to need to find more help inside Belgium's Gate. Gale was also nerdy out about trying to find a book to learn about the crown. We'll soon find ourselves near one of the finest book collections this side of Candlekeep. Sorcerous Sundries. <laughs> Sorcerous Sundries! I, I, I know that one. Why would a Baldurian magic shop be the first place we look? Ha! Sorcerous Sundries is no mere trading post. It's been serving the arcane community for centuries. Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. <laughs> oh my god, this is hardly <laughs> commonplace, but. I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. But you know, between wizards, he's a nerd. Going to be looking at all the books and all the scrolls and all the magic spells. Oh my god, speaking of scroll, I just find my first uh, six level scroll. That's going to be fun. Disintegrate. <laughs> Disintegrate. Can't wait to use that one. Wow. Mm. Oh my god, 100 damage on the spell if you crit. Well, if you crit, if you do max damage. If you crit, I can't even imagine. I don't really know which one was my favorite today. Oh, I think it was. It has to be just the avatar just emerging from that wall. I know it's not really one of our moments, like it's not something we've done, but just, just how cool mm. it was, like looking like giant gunchick skeleton coming out of the hall, summoning yeah. the sight and everything, oh, just like, right, yeah. oh. <laughs> was cool. It was yeah. very, very cool. How could you understand this close to the hall if I were you? And you have too many names. Indeed.
Okay. That's a big scythe. I'm not scared. You're scared. I was excited for the boss fight. It was pretty okay. I went great. Chedia got a bit bullied, but other than I that, was it, bullied. it was pretty okay. So, I really enjoyed Castian's use of fire. Fire bulls, um, but particularly the firewall against those Gif Yankee monks. Oh yeah, the, uh, the Emperor actually helped a lot. He stunned one of the Gif Yankee inside the wall of fire. Yeah, it was And that great. took like, I what, like it. 60, nearly 70 damage in like one turn? Yeah. Good combo. There we go, 36 damage, that's better. Destroy the honor guard. Working on it. Oh, nice. Turned into the fire. I think she's dead. Yeah. I must also say I also enjoyed um, Isabel and um, Aelin being reunited. They're the cutest girlfriends ever. But for all his sins, he brought you back to me. Are you all right? I will be. And you? In this moment, I want for nothing. Yay! Ah, oh. we got the cute. Disney kiss. Yay. Yay! The girlfriends this is Aelin. Oh, I love them. Aelin, this is. We did good. We did. We did. I would say probably the fight before the um, big uh, boss fight. Oh, when we found mm. all it's those just, uh, skeletons and zombies. Fight. Yeah, but it was just, it went really, it was a very clean fight for us, I think. Ah, yeah, I know the one you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's very was cool. We managed yeah. it good. Uh, Morphos, Morphos going for the for the big guy at the back. Mm. Yeah, the death shepherd and then all the, managing to handle all the zombies and stuff. The light bulb. Oh. oh, here we go. There we are. That's a lot of zombies. <laughs> and there's a death shepherd. Oh, it's been a while since we saw one of them. Oh, oh Lord, they're, they're coming. coming. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I like that they all move as one, basically. Mm. Yeah. Well, Morphos, I believe um, we kept you for last again. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I'd probably say kind of raging for the first time, just because it's quite exciting to be able to <laughs> kind of uh, yeah, tap the... into my inner barbarian and, and see, see how time. it works. Oh. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I feel very useful in all fights now. Whereas I feel like I'm doing a very good amount of damage and being able to yes. kind of tank. But uh, other than that, I think it was just generally overall, I think we're working very well as a team and um, that obviously pleases me greatly. <laughs> uh, I feel like we haven't been really in the fight where we were like actually struggling so far. Mm. It becomes dicey at times, as I said, like the fight against the, the Avatar of Miracle was spicy. Shenzira went down, I think Brook went yeah. pretty low too when we got like hit by the sight. That's okay, we live and we learn. I have just done well, absolutely nothing to this battle so far, but that's right. fine. <laughs> Tell me about it. It's only because I've got action surf that I was able to. Uh, well, the music can't see you, free, so. Create <laughs> him. Yeah, that sucks first. Oh, apparently he can't see you. But now he also oh, killed. Yeah, now. Yeah, he he's also not killed the skeleton. The they made him went down to like half HP or something. A bit more than. a bit less than half HP. It got a bit spicy, but not to the point that we were struggling. So I think, yeah, we are definitely working very well right now. Mm. Yeah, definitely. And so yeah, next time mm -hmm. I'm just gate. Yeah. Although, yeah. Yeah. I I don't know because supposedly there's supposed to be an army between us and Belgium's gate. Because they left way before we True. started hitching the roads. I don't know where they are. I don't know if they are like in ambush somewhere and they're waiting to attack the city or are we going to have like a massive fight just as we arrive? Or are we just going to walk in the city and they will attack later? That's the one thing I don't know right now. Yeah. That's one so thing I guess we'll uh, find out. Yeah, we'll have a big surprise next time, I guess. Once we... Mm. Well, first of all, get some rest again. 
<laughs> we had like a we keep having to getting interrupted. Also, the bad guys know Maybe. we are coming, and they I think they are going to uh, give us uh, not some warm welcome. Not sure they're too happy that we kill their friends. Well, their friend. They don't seem to get along very well, those three, to be honest. To be fair, I like the gods. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I like the gods. I'm not sure they get along that well, those three. And Weaver seems to find it very weird that they also decide to ally with the Elifid, which have no souls, because the gods are technically competing to gain souls. So I think Withers we're still is... missing pieces of the puzzle. Yeah, Withers yeah. has a lot more to. Uh... Oh to, yeah, uh, it's keeping us from any... us. It's keeping stuff yeah. from us for sure. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Speak plainly. Is there more you can no. tell me? How convenient, <laughs> wizards. Oh, very convenient. What are you Where doing here anyway? Of balance are concerned. I am eternally cold. He's 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 some kind of he's some kind of powerful being, isn't he? I mean, he can obviously bring people back yeah. from the dead for a start, but. He's, he knows a lot, and he's he's talking about balance. Like he he only he appears when there's balance that that things yeah. could become unbalanced. I think yeah. he's a uh, he's a uh, he's a sleeper. <laughs> and then yeah, it, uh, everything would be. I think he's one of those like very powerful beings that don't intervene but like to steer things in the right direction. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't know. There's so many things that I'm curious about right now. We have so many like. Different storylines going on, different like pieces of the puzzle missing. Mm. But at least we know what we are fighting now. We are fighting a giant floating brain that's being controlled by three absolute maniacs. Well, two remaining maniacs, but hey. Then time to eat the bed and get ready for, for our yeah. next adventure. Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Now you will leave us. Keep the good we vibes must take going. In one another's bodies and words. Excuse me? Kaylin! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs>